Welcome back to Crafting with Elaine at the WMTL. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Today's project will be learning to use a quilling tool, which is within your packet. It's a little tool that looks like this, and this one was designed for a specific thickness, I'm sorry, a, a specific width of paper. We're using a slightly wider paper, but I think you'll find it that it works just as well. You should also have in your packet a bottle of glue. Please go get a pencil and a scissor and pause this video until you have those items. Okay, now, in addition to those items in your packet, along with strips of paper, you will have what I consider the muse. Something to which you are going to base your design on. Now, you do not have to do this one. You can design whatever you want, but essentially I'm just introducing you to how to use a quilling tool for this session, so I hope you, that you enjoy it. Using your pencil, I want you on the piece of paper. Now, there are two sides to this piece of paper. The paper that you have in your kit is a card stock. It's a little thicker, and when we turn it over to do the gluing, you'll find that it holds up better than regular paper. So, the first thing I'm going to have you do is kind of make, I don't know, a little bit of a design. It will be based entirely on what you see, but I'm going to do this from here, and I do apologize if it's kind of strange because I'm working kind of on the side. And I'm looking at it, and I'm just... This is entirely just to get an idea of what I want. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, now, this one is butting out a little further than that. That's the same thing that's going on there, and of course that. This is just something so that you can lay out your work as you go and decide, well, does, is this working for me, or do I need to change things up? This side of the paper does not matter. We will turn it over when we finally put the design in place. So I see like little different things going on here. Okay, again, this is just your muse. You do not have to follow it implicitly, but you can see certain shapes that you may want to do. Okay, that's fine. Remember, we're not gluing to the side of the paper. Okay. You have your quilling tool. Where to begin? I am going to start you off up in the corner with this one circle. The reason I'm choosing this is because it's a very simple kind of thing to do with the quilling tool. Okay, the, so I'm going to follow a color very similar to that. I'll grab a yellow. Out of your packet, you can grab a yellow strip of paper. It doesn't have to be any particular shade. That one is almost, I don't know, it, it almost looks kind of like uh, a little on the beige side. So if you want to go to a lighter yellow, feel free. Also, one thing I need to make note of so that you understand what's going on is in your packet, you're going to have different types of quilling strips. Ones that I made up uh, printed out and cut. Those are the ones that have different colors starting with one end going to the other. In other words, it'll start with a yellow and go to an orange, or it might start with purple and go to blue. Those are the ones that I made. However, one difficulty of making it from scratch myself is if you happen to notice one end may not match up 100% with the other end, okay? The thickness, the width of the paper might vary slightly. That's just something that you need to be aware of, okay? With the quilling strips that I created. I'm not trying to see if I can show you that there. It's a little wider on the yellow side, okay? Now, the quilling strips provided by the manufacturer, which I included in your kit, they are exact width of 10 millimeters. However, they do vary in thickness. So while one may be as thin as, well, 
a piece of copy paper. The other one may be as thick as a cardstock. So just be aware of that if you should decide to pursue this hobby. Some manufacturers will give you better paper than others, but I went for the 10 millimeter and I went for varying colors just so that you have something to work with for this. All right, getting back to this. I'm gonna start with any form of yellow. So I'm grabbing one of my strips, okay? I am going to see if I can show you here. I am trying to feel my way. I am visually impaired here because I do not see what I'm doing. Uh, I am only looking at it from a screen point of view. So I'm trying to make sure that it, you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm feeling my way through it. it there's a slot in the tool. You want to make sure that slot, you penetrate the paper through that slot, line it up toward the very edge. Oopsie. I have to find my way again. I'm feeling my way, so bear with me. Okay, I think I've got it. Okay. All right, turn it towards you. And use your other finger to bend over that little bit of extra. Okay, do you see what I did? So that that little bit of extra is coming over. I apologize for my gardening nails, <laughs> as I call them. Okay, so now we are going to roll toward us maintaining I'm trying to show you what i'm doing here i think i've got whoops okay i'm trying to maintain even pressure so that it rolls evenly however if i need to i can use my other nail to push it up whatever you do don't let go of that you notice i held onto it as i moved all right, I am just going to roll toward me. Nudge it up to fit. Again, I'm holding it to make sure I'm not getting too far off. Ah, there we go. Anyway, you nudge it up with your nail every so often. Keep the tension fairly straight. And if you have to let go of something, Make sure at least one is holding the paper in place. Okay. And whatever you do, don't let go of that one. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make you see this better. There we go. Probably that's better. All right, nudge it up. Um, okay. Nudge it up. I am feeling like I'm at the end there. So I'm going to push that up a little more. Don't let the flap loose down here. Bring it all the way to the end. Oh, I let go. <laughs> well, okay. Let it go. Let it drop. You've got your first circle. Except I didn't finish it. I kind of let it go too early. But that's okay. See, it's, in a sense, it's like curling it with a scissor, except you're not using a scissor. So we've got this nice little circle going on. Now, if I look at this one over here, I'm saying, well, that's bigger than what I've got here. Okay, that's no problem. I am going to, first of all, stand up above this so I can see kind of what I'm doing. All right. Once you've gotten it off, oopsie, I'm going to have to bring it in front of the camera. Here we go. You can gently tug it out a little bit. Again, kind of roll together until you get about the size that you want. Okay. If I were to do it exactly like that, well, I could put it on my mm. muse and see how it is. Now, granted, that's, again, just a muse. So, yes, this one's going to be a, a little bigger. That's fine. I prefer it a little bigger. Okay? So, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to grab... Oopsie. I'm going to try and grab this gently without crushing anything. 
I'm going to use my chair. I've got to get around here so I can get under here. A little bit of glue. All right. On here. Okay. So hold it in position. What the glue is going to do for this curl is prevent it from going out any further. I'm going to kind of pinch it down. If you're lucky enough to have tweezers, that's even better. You know, you can use a tweezer to hold it in place. I have a feeling. Okay, there we go. Then you can play with the stuff to get that curl bigger inside. But right now, I'm happy with that. All right, if I look at my muse, as I would call it, I notice that there's a darker color on the outside of that. You can use blue, red, green, whatever you feel like using. Now, you're going to see me using different colors that are not related to this. That's because I would like to try it. I'm going to grab one of my, let's see, uh, for this one I think I'm going to use a, a deep blue, okay? It's close, it's not exact, it's, it doesn't matter. Because this is what you're doing. This is not what they're doing. All right. Now you're going to say, well, how do I do this? Because that was inside. Yes, you can do the very simple way of gluing it on and rounding it around it. But also, I noticed that this one is rather thick. So to get that thickness, I'm going to put two pieces together. And I am actually going to use two different colors. That's my choice, as is your choice. You can do whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to put a little glue down. I'm matching the strips as close as I can. Oh, boy. And try to keep it straight. I know that's kind of something that... You wouldn't think about when you're doing this, but try to keep it straight until that glue doesn't stick to your fingers anymore because you don't want it to stick when you're rolling it. Turn it upside down. Make sure there's no glue sticking out there as well. Now I've just put those two strips together. Okay, I'm going to close this up so I don't end up with the glue hardening on me. Anytime, if you end up with this getting clogged, drying out, Use a regular needle or pin and put it through. All right, let's go back to our quilling strip. I mean, I'm sorry, the quilling tool. All right, I am just going to quill this up. And you're going to say, well, well, do I want to do this? Yeah. Really, what you're doing is you're giving it the curl. And of course, I can't see, save my life here. I need a pair of glasses. Okay. Again, same thing. You see how I started that? All over that little bit. This quilling tool was made for perhaps a seven millimeter width paper, but we are dealing with 10. I like the 10 millimeter because it stands out better. To me, it seems like it has more depth, but that's my personal opinion. When you look online, you will find various widths, anywhere from three on up to 10. Some quilling kits will give you all the sizes. Great. Some quilling kits will give you all the quilling tools for the various sizes. Great. And a lot of them will even give you templates. Well, we're just doing simple, for the most part, circles. We're not doing any real triangles or anything else, so we're good with just what we have. Now, as I get to the end of the blue, and I go into the deeper, darker color, I'm going to make sure I gently roll, never letting go of this again. Gently roll it through that. Do not want to let go of this. Slowly roll it. Okay, keep going. 
Try to keep nudging that up and keep it against your finger. Okay. As you get to the end, don't let go this time. <laughs> Not like I did last time. Hold it and release it by counter going the opposite direction, which would be I'm not sure what the film shows, but it's probably counterclockwise. I'm not sure. But really, for me, it would be clockwise. I'm holding it. Release it. Now, the colors are nice. But we want to put that inside there. Don't fret. Pick it up. Loosen it. Now. Don't scream, just unravel it. You've already gotten the curl that you need when you use the tool. Unravel it to the very end. Beautiful. But you've got this wonderful curl now. Okay, very end. Take a tiny drop of glue. And put it around your yellow one. On the outside of your yellow one. Okay. Holding that paper in place. Don't squish the yellow. In other words, just, you know, try to get it started. Okay. Then you're going to very gently roll it into place. Now you will notice that the places where you put your glue doesn't circle as well, isn't as smooth a curve. It's just the way it is, okay? So that's not bad. All right, I'm going to tighten it down just a little more. See, by tightening it down, you're not going to go past the thickness of the, you're not going to go, you're not going to shrink the yellow at all, so long as you keep it gentle. Okay. A little glue under here. Yeah, I can tell this is one of my strips. It's got to wait on the end. <laughs> okay. So this, if you want to expand the yellow inside itself a little bit, you pull gently. Okay. Hold that in place for a few seconds. Nothing too hard. Okay. That piece is done. I am not gluing it to the paper yet. I am just simply setting up. So looking at this, I'm going to say it's roughly in that position. I don't know if that's going to be where it's going to be at, but that's what I'm setting up. Now, using my muse, amusing muse, this set is going to be a little different. Light blue to dark blue to orange. We could do it like we did that, or we can roll all these together at the same time. So I want you to pick up, if I'm going to do this color, yes, I am following it. I'm going to flip this because this is one of mine. Get rid of the white at the edge. And okay. This is one of one of my yellow strips. But it's a blue in there, a light blue. Hmm, do I have any light blue strips? Light blue, light blue, light blue. Okay, I do have one. Now I'm going back to, again, a darker shade. I'm gonna use one of my ombre strips. And then it's like an orangey shade. Well, I have these nice long ombre strips also changing color to the outside. I'm going to use those. You use what colors you feel comfortable using. You're going to notice my strips, again, my strips are not exactly the same in dimension as the others. Since I am starting with the light blue in the middle, I will grab 
the quilling strip. I will think about this for a second. Do I want to glue up the strips now or do I want to wait? I think for my convenience, I'm going to glue it now. So I'm going to light blue to a darker blue, light blue to a darker blue. I try not to get too much glue on this because it really does slide around a bit. It dries pretty quick. This is regular school glue. I was just putting these bottles for your convenience. So I had a big gallon of school glue. Okay. Let's go down the other end. And I am going to use, let's see, do I start with orange or do I start with the reddish end? All right, let's start with this one. My crazy colors. You choose the colors you, you want. Okay, come on. Remember, try to make sure that when you lift, if it's, if it's still turning, it's probably not dry enough, just a few seconds. Okay, it's good, both sides. It's not sticking to me. Go back to the beginning. Get the glue out of the way. And start our roll. Find the edge, find the edge. Okay, we got it. Now, once you're at the edge, turn it. Tilt that over. Come on. Hold it. Am I getting it? Yes, I am. Okay. Make sure it's seated in that slot. If it's not seated in the slot, you're going to be turning for nothing. And roll, 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 roll in the hay, roll, roll. Yeah. Always keep your hand holding that. Now, as I near that, I'm going to go gent, very gently. I'm going to walk it through really slowly because I do not want it to get loose or I don't want those to flip open. There we go. Continue. Oops, I almost took it off. See, I keep nudging it with my other nail to keep it lined up. Now remember, I did say my strips are going to vary in size. Those ones that blend the different colors. So you choose what you want to use. I'm going through the next color here. Slowly. Now this one, I think... It looked to me like it was starting to pop up. So, all right, how am I going to do this? I want to hold on to this. Put just a smidgen. I do need a smidgen of glue here. Oops, too much. I'm holding it. Take it off with your thumb. <sighs> Keep this tight. Not losing anything. I don't like the um, paper sticking up like that. That's all. Okay. We're getting there. All right. I'm getting toward the end. Oh, make sure there's no glue on that. And don't feel sticky. When you get to the end, counter, you take this, go the opposite way as you turn, releasing it. Hold it in your hand for a few seconds and nudge it, you know, tap it. 
so it flattens out a little bit. Okay. Now, release. Now, you'll notice the center is always going to be tighter. That's all right. You can kind of play with it a little bit, loosen it up. What I tend to do is I'll pull it. Just don't overwork it because you don't want to have to try and put it back inside itself. All right. So let's see. General shape. When I push this together, we're getting that shape, but it's not as big as I would like it. You determine what's going to work for you. I'm kind of working it out inside here. Because always that first strip is going to be the tightest. Because it's... Now, a little more. Not too much. Okay. I'm going to use my quilling tool to gently get my... Get it in there. Pull it out a little bit. Now there's going to be different videos you can find on YouTube that may have <laughs> a better way of doing this, but you're seeing what I am doing, so. Okay, now, I've got a few layers going on here. I'm going to keep it about that size, and I've got the tip of it on the edge there, and very gently, gently, I'm going to move this. I'm, my muse shows it toward, I'm going to show you. My muse shows that going toward the bottom, right? I'm going to nudge it with my cooling tool toward that end. Whoops, I caught it. Okay, you see what I did? I just pulled it over. And you've got your various layers going on. It doesn't have to be at the very bottom. Whoops. Careful. Yes, we do have that getting caught. Okay. So there I am with that. And I'm just going to crush both the bottom and top. Okay. Take the glue. Inside here. On your outer layer. And just, you can smush it together as much as you want. Notice what's happening now, okay? As it turns, it's getting the unusual design. You can, it can work with you or against you, depending upon how you want that to be. You can, if you want to keep it more even to prevent it from spinning too much, you can put a drop of glue inside, just a tiny drop. It'll help it stay a little better. It's not going to be the same as the drawing or, you know, any of that, but it's there. Okay. I'm going to put that under here. Okay. Now, which one do we do next? Let's work for this one. However, I'm going to look, I'm looking at this, I'm saying one piece of a dark shape. I'm gonna go, like I said, you pick your colors. I'm going for an ombre, dark ombre, dark, dark purple to blue. Now I notice this portion is gonna have a, a lot more going on. So I would say at least two strips of whatever color I pick here. Again, like I said, I've been using my strips because it's just easier for me. I'm using those two. I'm going to flip this over. All right. Then the last color being the same color I started with. A dark shade again. So, let's look at this now. 
I think for this, I will do, for starters, putting those two orange shades together. Now, this is mine. This is, this is not necessarily what you're going to do. You, you choose your colors. You decide what you're going to do. You don't even have to do that design. If you want to do basic butterfly, you know, swirl on this side, swirl on that side, go for it. Okay. That's stuck together. I'm going to straight. Oops, didn't stick together well enough. Still not good enough, okay. Hold it down. Okay. I'm moving that one down. I'm taking one of the blue ones. A little dot of glue. Put that down. Glue it. Hold it. Hold it. Oop. Like I say, wait till it dries enough. Flip it over to make sure it's... Not, see, there's a lot of glue that's on the other side. I'm going to take that off, let that dry a little bit. Okay, I can let that dry while we do the other end with the same color. Okay, just a little bit. The amount of overlap is going to affect the circling. But let's face it, if you don't do enough overlap, it's not gonna hold. Okay, there we go. Back to the other end. That should be good to go. Same old thing we just did. Put your quill in. Come on. There we go. Hold it over, roll it. Okay, we got it going. Try to keep it snug, but not overly taut. You want to be able to move it freely. Continue till you get to the end of that one. Remember, as you approach the next color, you just have to be a little more gentle. Okay, right now this is a little... I'm holding it here. Having, I want to be able to see what I'm doing, so I've got my fingers out of the way. Slowly. Okay, that did well. It's stuck. Good. Go to the end of this one. Hmm. Okay, As we're getting to the end. We're going into the next strip. I don't know if you can see that or not. The next orange. Keep rolling until you get to the next strip. Again, very gently. Okay, we're good. We're good through that. Keep going. Go. Watch the edge. You're getting toward the end there. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to release this. I'll just hold it for a second. 
tighten around it. Now, let go. Nice cool colors, huh? Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, let's see. Now, the whoopsie, the center is the darker shade. We've got these nice yellow oranges, and we've got a final blue shade. I'm going to bring it around. Okay, I'm noticing this is kind of pointed, and everything gets drawn to the one side. Get out the glue, because I really don't want this going crazy on me. Hello. Oh, come on. Oh, what? I left it too long. Hold on. As I've explained before, if you get clogged up, use a fine needle, such as a quilting needle. Um, gently go in and out. There we go. It's freed. I'm going to put that needle out of this way. And just a little glue. This time I will be sensible and close this up. Not a bad idea if you do that all the time, but, well, some of us don't remember to do that. Okay. Now, where do I want this to go? I want this to be heading down toward the other end here. All right. I'm going to hold it a second. Now, this is really pointy if you look at that one. But I do want this to be expanded just a wee bit. Move it around a little bit. See, the center one always seems to be very tight. Let's pull it out a little bit. Okay, that's good enough for what I want. Okay, I'm pushing everything down toward that end. This time, I literally am going to just squeeze one end, since I've got that glue there, and I'm pinching it tight. I see there, there must have been a glue, um, a changeover of color, because it does seem to be doing a little weird stuff there. Now, this is very different from what I'm looking at there. It's doing its own thing. So what I'm going to do is I will add a few drops of glue in the layers here. Just a tiny touch. Just something to stick to. So it doesn't go pulling out so much. Okay. Place it back in and pinch and hold. And I just quickly, okay, there we go, that's kind of cool, colors are nice, this is not sticking as much as I'd like it to, let's put it aside over there, so we can see what we're doing, okay, I'm happy-ish, okay, good, now, I'm looking at this curly hue over here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's bring it down so you can. Looking at this curly hue here. It actually looks like one, two, possibly three different colors. Now, the thing with the quilling tool is you can possibly sneak two layers in to the slot, not three. So, what you're going to do you're going to take three colors. I'm just going to pick three random colors here. And you're going to see here, you're going to layer it like so. The point being is the quilling tool will only start with one and then work its way through the others. I'm just going to put a, a dot of glue here, a dot of glue there. I don't know if you really need the glue there, but I am. Okay, make sure it's dry. And 
So, I am trying to find, there we go. All right, so again, tilt it over, roll it, roll it. You now have three colors on your quilling tool. Roll it, always nudge it back into position. It does want to do what it wants to do. This is kind of like a scissor now. I'm just going to very gently roll this last part. Oops, getting a little too loose. Okay, release, kind of like a pinwheel. All right, now, looking at this design, we want it to come around, so, we want this, I'm going to pull this closer so I can see it better. We're going to pull it like, like so, just around. That is really pretty shade. However, we're not gluing anything down yet. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Just leave it loose. Leave it big for a second. Let me squeeze it down so you can see what I'm talking about. Camera's not catching up here. Tilt. Up. Okay. A little more. Okay. That's really kind of pretty. We're going to do something similar here, except it's just going to be one color. They're using a green. I think we can do, you know, use what color you want. Colors are really fun to work with. You know, you choose what you want. I'm going to go for something a little crazy. I have this ombre strip that I want to try. It goes from pink to purple. Pink, white, and purple. Now this is only one piece. It should be sufficient for what I want. I'm going to leave the purple end to be over here. The blue end to trail. On. And quickly just roll it up and you're going to find that as you do it, it gets easier and easier and easier. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, getting toward the end. Nice and loose this time. Release, let go. And I'm going to unfurl, kind of like what you do with a scissor. So I'm going to unfurl it all the way, and now I'm just going to let it curl back up on itself. If you want to tighten it down, you can tighten it down. Right. You can always pull it in some. That's good. That'll do for me. All right. So boom, boom, boom. I'm going to kind of straighten that out a little bit, just so it stays. Okay. That's cool. Not exactly like the muse, but hey, I don't have to be exact. All right. Look at the next part. This long and this thing here. We can either start with the curls, since we're using this to guide us. Or we can start with this big, long thing. I think I'm going to start with that. Use your colors that you want to. Um, make it different. Make it the same. You choose. All right, let's see. I'm going to go with something a little less. Let's see. Your packet may have slightly different colors. Okay. I've got this green to yellow to green. I think that's going to be my outer stuff. And what about the middle? Hmm. Oh, light yellow this time, perhaps. Maybe something from that manufacturer. Okay. Alright, I'm going to... 
again. In this case, I'm going to glue them a touch. Yellow to yellow green. Come on. The textures of the paper is going to be different too. Because the ones that were printed by me used a laser printer and so the, the colors are a little more, uh, I wouldn't say intense, but they are slipperier. I'm going to get that white. A little glue that end. That end. It should be sticks, not too slippery. If it moves, if it moves easily in your hand, you gotta let it dry a little bit, okay? Until you don't really move it that much. Okay, back to the top. Scroll. Oops. If you go too fast. Yeah, then I miss it entirely. Oh, I do believe I've got a little Norton 360 in the corner there. Hmm. Oh well, can't help that. I guess it's considered not really doing anything. I better look at that and see. Okay, it still should be right. Oh, there we go. And roll. I am going to be changing colors shortly, or strips, so very slow down. Okay, it's just a little ways. Very gentle. Gentle. If you have to. Sure, that stays stuck. One. All right, we got it. Continue. See, really, scrolling, this kind of scrolling is not that difficult. You're not creating crazy shapes. But, you know, I think really you do need some idea of what you're trying to achieve initially. I mean, you can start with, you know, doing shapes that they give you to try in those kits, but usually you have to have some idea what you're going for. That's not entirely true for everyone, but it is for me. Okay, I'm going to the end. I'm stopping. I'm counterclockwise, just tight, or clockwise, whichever way you want to say it. Nice and tight. Release. Release, release it up a little bit more. You can expand it. I want this to be bit more. See, when I get finally down to the center, I want this to be a little bit bigger here. So I'm, I'm doing a counter swirl in a sense. I'm going against it so that I can pull it out a little bit. You probably could open the whole thing up, but I don't really want to do that. Okay. All right. So there I am with that. Now this one is supposed to be this kind of thing, just so long as I have it long enough for my own satisfaction, I'm going to pull it out just a bit more. Okay, leave it loose. All right. Again, if you want, once you've got an idea of your size, you can always put a dot of glue. See, the worst part is when they start falling out on you. We have to put them back in together. Okay. See how different my <laughs> my colors tend to be. Okay. So, all right. Cover this guy up again. Really didn't like that one. Not like that. All right. So I look at it. I'm gonna pull it toward that base. 
I'm going to bring up the curling tool for that, just so that I can pull it a little bit here. with it you know you get the shapes you want and you play with it All right. I think we're close enough that I'm gonna smush it down okay okay and throw it into position all right next one one solid color for I would say three strips if you want to do a solid color, go ahead. Like I said, everybody has their own choices. Uh, I like to I like to play with colors a little bit more than that. So again, I'm sticking with my oranges and yellows. You pick your choices. You got lots of shades in there to fool around with. Okay, I've got even short little pieces here. Let's get this out of the way this out of the way a little bit. So I've got some short strips. I'm going to do a bunch of them. One. Hello. I just did this. Come on. I sometimes think I'm cursed. I know I just opened this up. Evidently the glue is thicker than I thought. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go, just a tiny bead of glue. I'm going to go ahead and bead the other end because I don't seem to be having some kind of issues here with the glue. dotted them all. So I'm going to go in here. One. Pick it up. Remember, it should not move readily. Okay. Next. I'm using actually four short strips. Use however many you feel like you want to use. Okay. Oops, I got my stuck stuck on that one. Got the glue again. Okay. Straighten it out as best you can. to the top. You know the drill on this one now, by now. Center. Work from the center all the way out. Come on, roll it. Don't be upset if you lose the quill off the paper. Just go back and redo it. Ah. Uh, just one of those days, what can I tell you? See, even I have problems. My, my sight right now is just not really good. I'm trying to get the paper out of my way. There we go. All right, go back and quill, quill, quill. I wonder where they got that term quilling. It certainly doesn't look like a feather to me. But a quill may have to do with pen, I guess. Who knows? All right, keep going. As you get to the edges of one strip, gentle. Always when you get to that edge of the strips, take your time through it. If you see something happening ahead of time, a bit in the bud. This one might be an issue right here, I see. Yeah, I'm going to stop. 
I'm hold, kind of holding that in position with the other finger. Just the tiniest smidge. The glue is really giving me an issue tonight. I'm not going to go crazy with it because I don't want it to stick to the other one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Quickly. And that's another thing why perhaps it loosens a little bit because we become less aggressive as we go over those areas. So it may not go as snug at the end compared to the beginning. I'm just making a comment so that maybe, you know, if you really good at this, you might figure out how to avoid that. Okay, now loosen. Let go. All right, nice spiral. I like the colors. I think I do. Okay, loosen it up. We're going to keep this part. Kind of like that. Let's see. Maybe tighten this just a bit. Okay. I'm going to glue the edge down. See, it's already going a little too wild. And when I started gluing with this tube, it was much friendlier. Now it's gotten sticky. So now i got to cover it each time I use it. By the time I get this on, let me just put it out of the way. I will use the needle if I need to. I'm going to tap that down. Okay, now I'm going to expand. Oops, a daisy. I kind of thought that was going to happen. All right. Now, Ooh. maybe I should have used even more. Even with um, strips here. Well, I'm going to expand these out. You can always put them back in. It's kind of just not that easy to put them back in. Okay. I'm pulling them out, pulling them out. Individually. Give them a little rough shape. i got to be careful not to crush it. Let me do that. Okay. I'm going to take that. And I am going to go and point it one end. The same, let's keep it normal. And release. Okay, this is a little different than the, my muse. But once again, hey, it is what it is. I want to pull it out a little more. I just got to be careful I don't get stuck in it. Okay. Okay. It's doing its own thing. That's fine. I'm gonna get a little more. Okay, there we go. Next, let's get those swirls done. Again, this swirl up here, I see one. I see two colors. All right, you choose your colors. Since I went with, I kind of really did like the colors that I had up here on this yellow and green. Well, not, it was a yellow and a blue or something like that. Yellow, blue, green. But this is only like, looks like two shades. Hmm. What two shades? What two shades should I do? I would like to try something a little different, perhaps. Purple, deep purple, no, deep color, and hmm. let's see, purple and green, or should I do purple and yellow, a bit of a contrast. A little too much for my likes. I do have 
a mixed one, which I think that would be a little nicer than the green on that. Yeah. You choose the colors you like. Again, let me reiterate. Do not try to grab two at once. We can try without putting the glue here. We're going to do that. I'll try that this time and you can see what happens. Okay, I think we'll be okay. All right. So I am into the second one. Second color. That's all right. That's, that's okay. That works. Didn't know if it was going to work, to be honest. See, I learned every time I do one of these things. I really didn't think it was going to work. Okay. Getting to the end. Release. And just like a scissor, curl. Let it loose. Okay, I'm going to get them back into position here. Something's going on where it's one's going outside the other and, well, let's get them back. All right. Okay. There we go. Not quite. I'm going to do what it wants to do. Well, I'm going to leave it. That's kind of cool. Two double swirls within the same one. I like that. Hmm. Okay. Move it over just so we can see what we're going to look like. All right. Okay. And I've got this one, the Muse, has two swirls, two different colors separated. Let's see. A yellow and a blue. Mm, not a big yellow and a green. Try something else. I already have the green here. That's a little too close. So perhaps, let's think. My packet doesn't have the pink that you guys got. I think I, that would be kind of cool. I'm looking to see what other colors I might have. Hold on one second. All right, well, I decided to go with some sharp contrast. Uh, but if I look at these, these two are kind of rolled separately. So, and they're short, they're not long. So we'll start with it. Might have to cut these off if I want it to be anything like my muse here. I'm going to take it, roll it. I'm going to keep it kind of loose, not too tight this time. And I'm going to stop about here, which is kind of leaving a long trail. And I'm going to whip it out. Okay. I'm going to tighten up maybe just a little bit. I probably could have kept it a little tighter. All right. And then the yellow. I'll clip off that edge when I'm ready to do it, to glue it up. Yellow. Keep it tight in the beginning and then just loosen it up a little bit. I think we need the whole strip again. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, and slide that on top. So you kind of see what I've done. I've gotten my own idea here. Uh, I'm going to clip that on. Now it looks a little crazy. And I can always look back at this and see if I want to adjust anything, you know, to, to follow that a little more. Because I noticed that this, I really think that I can put something else in here. Maybe one more swirl. So what I'm going to do, short of having to scrunch these down into position, um, let me think about this for a second. If I take that in, take that in, you know, you figure what, what you think looks good. Uh, that up it's going to bring it in so perhaps I go back in and just roll it by hand I 
probably shouldn't have listened to that far. Okay. Alright, slip that in. Okay. It's got its own interesting look to it, I'll say that much. Okay. I think I will stick with what I've got here, folks. And I will turn it over and start gluing it to make some sort of appearance. The one thing we really haven't looked at is the body. I'm grabbing a piece of brown, any brown, any light brown, dark brown. The way to do that, you know how you normally stick it in and you go straight from that? Put it instead at an angle and roll outward. And it's going to get fatter. Oopsie. Once you get to that point, you can use your fingers. Because it's, you know, it's not really the curl that you were doing there. And once you're out about that far, you decide how big you want this thing to be. Or how you want this done. Because we don't have wires here or anything like that, which probably wires would make something good. I'm going to just go as far as something like that. I'm going to take some glue. Yes. I do need my needle again. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's much better. Okay. I'm going to take it. It. Now, in a case like this, you want to hold it a little longer since you poured glue on it. That'll be part of my uh, creature. I'm not sure how exactly I wanted to lay that out just yet. But something along those lines. Maybe perhaps another kind of brownish piece might be a good idea. Start it off. Okay, this is getting too long already. Take it under. figure it out when we turn the paper over and really get serious about this. <laughs> Alright, maybe bend that a little bit. Can you see that? Oops, sorry. I did basically the same thing I did with this. I hope you saw that. I'll do it again with another piece just so that you, in case I completely missed the screen on that. I'm just going to use this one. You keep it down here so that you're, oops. I lost it already. There's that one for you. Oh, don't rush, don't rush. There we go. Oh, right on off. Okay. And... Oh, then you just keep twirling it with your fingers, if necessary. Look, it's kind of fat. And just cut, take a piece off, glue it. Okay. All right, just in case you didn't see the other one. All right, so two of those together, maybe, with the body. I don't know, we'll see. But we've got those made. So now, let's move everything off to the side. And you're like, wait, 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 I don't know anymore. Yes, you do. Turn it over. You've got all these fun pieces. You look at your muse. I'm going to stick the muse in front of you. With all the fun pieces that you created. And we're going to... Let's quickly lay out what you can do here. It's not going to be 
what you had on the when you turned it over, but you're going to very quickly realize, oh yeah, that one goes there. This one goes there. I think I want that there. I think I want that there. Okay. This one is curling in this direction. We'll fix it up. We will fix it up with glue once we get our stuff centered here a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about this until I've gotten the other pieces located. All right, so let's get that out of the way. Let's get the glue. Let me see if I can bring this to center a little more here. Yeah. To glue it to the paper, you have to have at least some idea of where you're gonna put things. I'm trying to find a way to get my arm around this without having to stand over this thing. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. I'm picking it off the paper. I'm just gonna make a squiggle of glue and I'm going to lay it down approximately where I want it. We can adjust this a little more once we get this going. All right, I'm about halfway up the paper, that's good. Now this one kind of comes, I'm looking at this, using the muse. This one kind of comes at the tip of that one, or close to it, and that one comes right next to it. So we got that one, that one, that one. So I'm gonna pick this up with my hands, put down a bunch of little glue, stick it down. Grab this one, I'm gonna go down here. This glue is school glue. It'll dry kind of clear. And if you really must, put a drop of glue between pieces to hold them snugly together. Now this is kind of what I see with that. It's not the same. Don't worry about it. This one we had coming up and around, coming up to touch that one. I'm going to put this here so it stays. And we got that going there. I might want to put a little glue in between things and hold it for a second. Okay, this one, I'm just putting glue down. You can put glue on the insides of your dis of your squirrels if you need to. Sorry about the chair, folks. I just it's hard for me to get around here. Now we want that, 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 that is what I really do want, something like that. I'll put a little glue here, hold it together. I'm not putting it on the paper just yet. I'm taking glue here and holding it tight. Okay. All right, come on. All right, now I'm putting glue along this thing. Against that. All right, now while it's squirreling like that, I'm just gonna tuck a bunch of glue under here. And you're gonna start seeing that it's just gonna stay in place and you can't move it anymore. You know, it really wants to stay where it, you tuck it. Okay, now that's that top part. I'm happy with the top part, even though it's not, let's face it, it's not the muse. It's, it is mine, okay? Let's look at the bottom. Grab your pieces. Okay. That one's going to be somewhere there. This one's going to be somewhere here. It might actually be too long for what I want. Let's see. This was a lot smaller in the view, so I'm going to tighten it up. I can always clip off the edge. Okay. There we go. That's the one. There's the yellow. Okay. Slide it on in. Okay. Before I do anything, get your scissor. Reach all the way over there. And I know that I want these pieces cut down. Okay. All right. Now these two are the order that I had it. I'm going to put some glue on this. Oopsie. I'm going to put some, put this right up against it. Okay. Put glue in here. Come 
up. Okay. All right. I'm going to put a little glue over here. Make it hold. This guy really wants to expand more than I wanted it to. So I'm going to smush it down a little more. Okay. All right. That's okay. Where's the other pieces? My orange and my crazy purple. This is right away. The crazy purple is going to do what it wants to do. If I want to tighten it up, go ahead, tighten it up. I've got two swirls going on in there, which is fine. Let's see, this one, I'm going to tighten up a little more. Okay. In fact, I am going to put some glue along here. A bit. Okay. Again, the glue will dry clear. And however you get it to stay, that'll be fine. Put a glue along here. That's good. Hold it. That's fine. Now, I'm going to take these two pieces just so that we can get them to stay. Okay. All right. I'm going to take that all the way up to that point. Glue here, along here, the inside. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just attaching piece to piece. And then finally, underneath, getting enough glue so that it stays in position a little better. And it means going in and adding a little glue to the paper underneath. Maybe glue here, touch it up. Okay. Now, that's where I've got it. I've got this piece. I've got these two pieces. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take a little bit of glue. This might require a little patience and time to get them to stick. In other words, you may end up having to wait to get them to stick right before you put them on the paper. Okay, we do have this guy here. I'm just gonna add him to the to the mess. And yes, you're gonna get glue on your hands. <laughs> See, even if I push this in a little bit, huh, comes in a little bit. Okay. Oh Yep, it's going to be doing that. Okay. Mm. Let, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. If necessary, let it dry before you attach it to the paper. You may want to just paper clip or whatever you got at home. A little bit of, okay, this one, you see what I noticed? It's, it's just not flat. So I'm going to flatten it to the paper. Okay. Then, there we go. Nice big blob of glue and let it set. And there you have it. My butterfly. Which, okay, it's not that. But it's that. Which is just as good and just as fun. Okay? And since this is cardstock, You'll be able to probably hang it up or something like that. You know, you decide. Okay? But I hope you did enjoy Crafting with Elaine again at the WMTL. And stay tuned for the next one soon. Bye-bye.